Um, we've identified a very unique type of adult stem cells that are present in all of us, uh, in the bone marrow, in fat tissue, in teeth, and uh, we, we, we can pluck those cells out using fancy uh, antibodies that bind to the cells, separate them from the rest of the uh, unnecessary cells in those tissues, and we have a pure population of adult stem cells. And these, these cells can then be grown in, in the lab over a few weeks' time and get multiplied, get very large numbers of these cells, and then we produce products out of them for treatment of various diseases. The major advantage of, the, of these cells is that they don't activate the immune system, so once they've been multiplied in large numbers, they can be frozen away and they can be used by doctors for various applications, including operations to repair fractures in the legs, uh, to repair cartilage in knee joints or in the back, and to repair heart muscle function in people who have heart failure. The heart failure product is exciting, a um, product to, to repair uh, fractures for, for people who've had severe injuries in motor car accidents, for example, is a very exciting product. Um, we're developing products to, to help protect the knee joint from arthritis after a, a football injury or other traumatic injury to the knee, and also to reverse cartilage loss in older people who have severe arthritis of the knee. The other one is to try to repair the disc in the back. Um, for people who have got severe low back pain um, to try to prevent the need for operations. Well, they're currently already in clinical trials. They're in the midst of clinical trials and we think that we can complete some of these trials over the next uh, year to two years and, and it's possible that we might have products out in the general community as, as early as three to four years from now. I think that there's, there's um, an expectation that when you understand that stem cells can do a lot of things and repair a lot of tissues that you might think they can do everything. But in fact, you've got to be very, very pragmatic and realistic about what we can really achieve, what diseases are we trying to target and where is there a real opportunity. And for those specific areas, and I've identified some in the cardiac space and some in the orthopedic areas, I think we can make some major, major inroads with stem cells that there are no other alternatives for. Um, but, uh, you, you know, you've got to be very practical and, and understand what, what your expectations are. There are other potential stem cell types uh, outside of what mesoblast is doing, for example, that are targeting other diseases, like neurologic diseases, like spinal cord diseases. I think those are areas that, again, um, there, there is hope that stem cell therapy might have, have an opportunity to address. But again, it requires a lot of patience, a lot of hard work, and, and a long time to get, to get there.